because of yellow card accumulation. It's such a massive loss. Ground coverage, yes. Certainly his vision and distributional capability going forward. And hard nose ball. Back. They got to make sure they get him high into the attack and pin back on Gulo and Hafa Santos. What does it look like for Tyler Wolf on that left hand side? His sixth start. Here today on decision day with very much to play for for both sides. And with that, match day 38 is underway from Enterin Coast State. Part of that defense that Devin just mentioned. Here's Torres with the turn, trying to slide it through down the left-hand side for Ojeda. Ojeda gets there, cuts it back, looking for Enrique, makes its way to Thor Holson. Now Araujo firing a shot, one-handed save, rebound shot goes into the stands. Brad Guzan comes up with a big left-handed save early on. Side puts it high into the air. Big pardon, that was Amador who put the cross in. Here's Wolf on it now. Tyler Wolf getting the start here today. Bad news for Atlanta. Edwin Mosqueda out once again because of that knee injury. Here's Love Janice! Love Janice tucks it in perfectly and puts the visitors in front within seven minutes to start this match. A massive goal. All the way to this near touchline is why he's so free in space. You don't get that quick movement over that you would get with Araujo or Cartagena. So a bit slow in one reaction, space in the other. And how good is that combination play on the quick little touch back across on the vision. Back to goal. Really well taken by Saba onto the backside. Orlando City find themselves facing a 1-0 deficit against their rivals. Here comes Ojeda. He'll uncork a long-range shot. Oh, the fans thought when they saw it ripple that. Corner kick coming up. Number one on the match. Alexei Meranchuk drives it in low. It sneaks across, and it's parried away, but then stabbed home on the rebound by Chiade. Just a quarter of an hour into this match, and somehow, some way, Atlanta United have opened up a 2-0 lead. The continuation of this ball through by Meranchuk. The way that it deflects off, it's well done, to be fair. By El Pupo. Galese, split second reaction, but off the deflection across the body. Who have scored nine times off of set pieces this season. It's driven in low and a back heel flick, a clever one. 35 yards away with the left foot and past the diving goose in. Here comes Orlando City. Dagger and Thor Holson putting a dangerous ball across all the way to the far side it goes. Santos sets up for another cross in. And this one is turned home. And Orlando City have put themselves right back into this match. It's one in the midfield on the first sequence coming out. Look at the way that he steps on the far side. Quickly. Four straight numbers right across the top of the box. And as they constrict themselves centrally, that allows that overlapping run. That's high from Dagger to Anthor Halson. He's frustrated, but the front line isn't. They stay consistent. They stay. Driven back in. Carried away by Guzan. Headed away then by Amador. Still the pressure coming forward. Here's a shot that is right into the belly. Enrique, now Ojeda. Ojeda trying to put it across. Atlanta United with a 2-1 lead. And here they come forward right out of the gate. This is Moranchuk trying to put it through. It's put, it's cleared away only as far as Lobjanice, who's already got a goal. To ground he goes, and the referee has pointed to the spot. The penalty awarded for Atlanta just seconds into the second half. Alexei Miranchuk, who's already taken two penalties for Atlanta United this year. He's converted both. And now he faces Pedro Galese. It's Miranchuk. Saved by El Pupo. And he sort of telegraphs it a bit. Watch his hips the whole time just wide open there for Galese, who's still got a ton to work to do. Full extension by El Pupo. Third save this season in all competitions. Fifth in an Orlando City uniform who saves 20%. For Orlando City, as Atlanta are playing with 10 men right now. 
Santos driving it in, and there's a header that goes over the bar off the head of Torres. This set piece in the 80th minute, driving it in right at the goalkeeper. This year against Austin. Can he strike again? Lodano saved by Guzan. Side Angulo. It's time to put a ball in, says Angulo. Smashing it home! Orlando City! The challenge this back line of Atlanta United. Look at top of the 18, Duncan McGuire searching, waiting for the brow, the ability to step in and make an impact. Great circulation of the ball to the far side, and Angulo recognizing that finally, when he picks his head up, he's got support, he's got bodies. Derek Williams, and it's that look right there that they're trying to see. A, does it actually come off of the arm? Devin, is it clear and obvious? Nah, from that angle, I can't tell from behind him. Again, there's no doubt that the arm's up against the body, but does it create the advantage and does it actually hit him, Nate? Right. Is the most difficult thing. I can't tell from the angle being shown. Here's the decision. After review, number 13 handles the ball before he goes in the net. Hair ball, no go. And that decision has kept Atlanta United in the playoff picture. And it's now or now they're the only ones remaining to finalize the postseason berth. And decision day dreams have 